Senator Bernie Sanders put out a tweet that offended some individuals who choose to do propaganda at the behest of American oligarchs. So Bernie wrote, we are in a moment in American history where two guys, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, own more wealth than the bottom 40% of people in this country. That level of greed and inequality is not only immoral, it is unsustainable. Now, if you're a reasonable person, I don't think you're gonna find anything particularly offensive about that tweet. However, billionaire Shill and Elon Dick writer, Zachary Shahan of Clean Technica decided to vocalize his outrage over Bernie Sanders' tweet in an article titled, Attacks on Elon Musk for His Wealth Are Truly Ridiculous. And as you can see, he's confused as to why Bernie Sanders would refer to Elon Musk as greedy. I mean, that's a lot of question marks, so he's definitely trying to figure out how anyone could fathom that Elon Musk, the richest man on the planet, could be greedy. And he argues greed is just a strange word to use in this case. I've yet to see any sign that Elon Musk is rich because he's greedy. I'm sorry, what? As a journalist, are you actually this stupid? Or are you just being purposefully obtuse because you're trying to do propaganda for Elon Musk? I don't even know how to respond to that. You haven't seen any evidence that the richest man on the planet is rich because he's greedy? How about, first of all, Elon Musk didn't earn the billions of dollars that he has. His workers produced that wealth. And he appropriated the value and the wealth that their labor produced. On top of that, ask yourself why Tesla factory workers are pushed to the brink. Obviously, it's because he wants them to produce more profits than they're already producing. And he's literally shut down efforts by workers to unionize for better working conditions. And he's even fired workers for organizing unions. He also pressured his employees to work in the middle of a pandemic during lockdowns, which, of course, resulted in hundreds of Tesla factory employees getting infected with COVID-19. Because according to Elon Musk, their lives are expendable because profits are more important to him. And on top of that, he also openly supported the U.S.-backed coup in Bolivia because the socialist government wouldn't give the United States access to their supply of lithium, which is needed for the batteries in Tesla cars. So if you haven't seen any sign that Elon Musk got that wealth, got that rich because he's greedy, maybe pull your head out of his asshole and look around and you might figure out what's actually going on. But really, this is just about him being an Elon Dick writer. He's just writing this because he wants D Daddy Elon to notice him. And mission accomplished. Daddy Elon noticed you, so congratulations. And Elon responded to Bernie Sanders' tweet saying, I am accumulating resources to help make life multi-planetary and extend the light of consciousness to the stars. Oh, okay, so that's why you should be the richest man on the planet. That's the justification because you've unilaterally chosen that right now the human race should be venturing out into the solar system. All right, Bernie Sanders responded to this saying, space travel is an exciting idea, but right now we need to focus on Earth and create a progressive tax system so that children don't go hungry, people are not homeless, and all Americans have health care. The level of inequality in America is obscene and a threat to our democracy. Yeah. Obviously, I think that most reasonable people acknowledge that it is essential that if the human race is to survive, we have to venture out into the stars. We have to colonize other planets. The issue is we can barely sustain life on this planet. We're killing the planet that we live on currently, and you expect human beings to possibly terraform and live on other planets? How about we not kill this planet first? How about we terraform this planet back to its original state before we decided to pollute it, before we try to colonize other planets? And furthermore, maybe it's not acceptable that a billionaire decides unilaterally what's the most important thing for the human race. Perhaps our species isn't advanced enough to venture out into the stars yet, if we're literally still killing each other over oil, if we're still not feeding the millions of people around the globe who are literally starving to death. How about we focus on that first? No, but Elon Musk says that we have to do this first. While we're killing our planet and while a pandemic ravages the world, I'm saying that we have to focus as a species on colonizing Mars, on venturing out into the universe.
that sounds really great, but I'm sorry, I'm a little bit skeptical that we're able to do that if we can't even stop global climate change, if we can't even provide Americans with health care. And I'm sorry, forgive me for being a little bit skeptical that this billionaire wants to paint himself as a pioneer who <laughs> wants to fund these scientific advances and wants to elevate the human race to the next level when this dumb motherfucker literally won't even get the COVID vaccine. He refuses to vaccinate himself and his children, and yet this is the guy that's going to propel human civilization into the stars? Maybe you just start by trusting basic science. If human beings cannot even tackle a pandemic without overcoming greed and forcing their employees to work when there's a pandemic going on, maybe we're just not advanced enough to colonize space. Maybe we should really focus on saving lives here before rich people create some lifeboat that they move on to after they've thoroughly destroyed this planet. It's just ridiculous that it's even a question that the richest man on the planet would become rich because of how greedy he is. And it's even more outrageous that Elon Musk thinks that this is an adequate justification for the grotesque amount of wealth that he possesses. Absolutely not. Here's the thing. In a late-stage capitalist society, wealth also equals power. So when you have individuals who have as much wealth as entire countries... That is a threat to democracy. That is unsustainable. So I think that this story speaks for itself. Um, rich people have become absolutely shameless. And the shamelessness and brazen behavior of rich people is predictable. But what shouldn't be a thing that we see are so-called journalists doing propaganda and defending them. What is Clean Technica? I've never even heard of this outlet. It's supposedly focusing on clean technology. Uh, but you're just doing CNBC level of propaganda. So how embarrassing. If you're a journalist, is, is this really what you want to do, Zachary Shahan? You want to do propaganda for billionaires who support coup d'etats so they can get access to another country's resources? Is this really what you want to be doing? I just, I don't understand people. Yeah. Human race can't even uh, fight a pandemic without making fools of themselves. We have people screaming about wearing masks into a grocery store, but yet you think that the human race is able to colonize space, that we're even to that point. Please, maybe when we stop killing each other and doing war in general, then we can talk about the human race evolving and colonizing space. In the meanwhile, let's try to work on fixing the issues we have here at home first. How about that? Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 